Welcome to Down the Line. So today we're going to be taking a look at the Christensen fish. And um, what is there to say about these things? They fly. Um, Chris Christensen described this board by saying if he's stuck on a desert island and could only have one board to surf for the next 10 years, then this would be the one. Super versatile, they work really well in kind of your mushier waves you'd normally associate with a fish, but they also offer high performance kind of in a bigger, steeper wave as well. So, taking a look at the outline, it's got that classic Californian kind of skip fry fish uh, design, but it's also got a few added extras just for an extra level of high performance. So, looking at the bottom of the board, um, you've got this really nice V up in the nose, and that just uh, makes this board want to turn, really gives you that nice smooth rail to rail transition. Um, it then comes down into a really deep single concave that comes right out through the fins there. Um, and that deep single concave just gives you a massive amount of speed and acceleration. Um, looking at the tail, yeah, this is what Chris Christensen describes as a twin pin. So it gives you this two little release points here. Um, and it's got really nice refined tail and really refined rails. And these two elements just give you a lot of hold and a lot of performance, even in a steeper and bigger wave. Um, it's just a combination of these little magic elements with this board that just kind of give it that extra lively feel and just make it a real little rocket um, kind of performance fish, you know, that really kind of um, perform way above your expectations when the waves get more solid. Um, also, looking up at the front, you've got tons of foam under the chest there. Um, so the foam placement on these boards is really nice. It's all right, right where it counts up under your chest. So they paddle like a machine. Um, really easy to paddle into waves. Really easy to catch waves. Um, other than that, the template is as you'd expect from a kind of traditional type of fish like this. Nice and wide up at the front. Um, but really, it's that combination of what's going on with the rails, the tail, and on the bottom of the board that kind of set this fish aside. So when it comes to fins for these boards. Um, something like the K2 from Futures go real well in these boards, uh, just kind of give that extra level of performance but also a keel fin to give you that nice fish kind of feel with a lot of speed and a lot of drive. Um, or equally the Chris Christensen Captain Finco limited edition fins work really well in these boards as you would imagine, um, obviously being designed by Chris Christensen himself. So the Chris Christensen fish. If you're looking for a twin fin that's kind of going to go well when it's small and mushy, but then also give you that extra level of high performance um, when the waves are firing, then I think this board is a kind of perfect choice. Uh, they generate heaps of speed, catch waves with ease, and also give you that extra element of hold that you kind of don't normally find in a more traditional style fish like this. So they're a really, really great option. Um, if you've got any questions on the board, feel free to drop us an email or head over to our Instagram page and drop us a message anytime.